the different silos aren't talking to each other, aren't talking to each other in the right order. So you might have the, the prop tech guys who try to sell to the occupiers or try to sell to the landlords, but then you don't have the, the prop tech providers calling up the, calling up the occupiers and, and saying, what do you want? They just say, you need this. They on that call and ask actually, is this what you need? And then you may not have the, um, the actual prop tech providers then training the, the managers of the space. And so there's this whole kind of broken, kind of broken system. You can come up with an app or a tech piece that is useful, but actually occupiers are readdressing how we're using the space. What do we want for it? How can we adapt into hybrid work? How can we make it sort of multi-use, multi-flex town hall space? What do we want? So before we start overlaying tech layers, I think we need to go back properly look at how space is used first. It is more and more increasingly uh, becoming relevant that they know that they need to go back to the occupier and engage on that and how is the tech facilitating those conversations. The nature of the conversation is trying to find a middle ground. So I think that's what a lot of property managers are about. Is you know, what to listening to both the occupiers, both the landlords and trying to find the solution that's presented a lot of the time, because there it's generally actually there's a solution and we've decided on this. It's going to work, because I've been told it's going to work by the person who just sold it to. And it's actually doing that engagement piece with the occupiers about understanding what they want and how it can be implemented.